Whoa, we really are locked into a specific order. CNS. Here's the noodle guy. Crossbell Harbor. This is the Northeast Harbor area. That lake you see over there is Lake Elm. The view from the park is breathtaking. The area has many modern buildings. Yes, this area also serves as a business district. Many companies have offices here, and a lot of Imperial companies have been moving in recently too. One of the biggest buildings belongs to the RF Group. The RF Group, the largest manufacturer in the Empire. Oh, they took over to where IBC used to be, maybe? Can we receive a mandatory request from them? We should head there before we go to the other districts. That's... yeah, that's the Michelin cruise ship. I think it's preparing for the first day, uh, trip of the day. If it's intriguing to you, we should go check it out. Then let's begin our patrol. Starting this ring, I started working for a major trade company. They put me on sales and every day's put me through the ringer. My superiors are expecting a lot from me. I need to pull it together. Azel, wait, was was that guy from the Testaments? Do you bring the documents to show to our clients? All right, let's get a show on the road. Yes, sir. My sister's proud of me, and now that I'm working at a major trade company. I still have a lot to learn, but as long as I keep working hard. Sister, yeah, this is definitely the Testaments guy. Boss, I finished the kimchi you asked for. Koki, wait, I recognize you. Let's, let me see then. Hmm. It still needs work. It's not strong enough to complement the broth. It needs to go down smooth. A crunch. A kick. A punch. Can you, uh, can you be a little more specific, boss? Hey, welcome. I don't always get what the boss is trying to teach me. Well, however, can't let that get me down. I'll, I, I can learn it all from him. Tomato noodles. Give me... My days are now spent training my disciple. If it still needs work, forget the path. You're not even at the threshold of the noodle. Hmm. Do I have enough acerbic tomatoes? It's quite bur bust uh, bustling considering how early it is in the morning. Sure is. That's because the boats here take you straight to Michelin. It's a, it's a rare famous theme park, viewable from the field exercise camp. I believe its full name is Michelin Wonderland. Yup, its mascot Mishi is super popular with kids and adults alike. Tourism has been on the decline, but since the annexation, there has been a ton of visitors from Erebonia. I see, I've never been to a theme park before. They were closed last year, so I don't have any first-hand experience. Same here. Hmm, since we we're already here, it'd be a shame not to check it out at least once. Huh? Is that a soldier? Seems they're checking people as they disembark. That's the Crossbow Military Police, right? Yeah, but what are they looking for? It appears that the railway military police is here as well. Is, does this have something to do with Lloyd? Maybe they suspect Lloyd is, use, is on the ferry? You're right, but still, why? I think the people that being searched are, are the ones who stay at the resort hotel. Yes, in which case, they are probably increasing their security because the inspection team is coming. Oh, that makes sense. If I remember correctly, there's a ra railway that goes directly to Michelin through the medical college. In which case, it's not unusual for the RMP to be involved. True. But it's strange that they're only checking guests who are returning. Alright, wait, I guess we won't have the luxury to go to Michelin during our special ops missions. Let's finish up and move on. Yeah, yeah, we know. Alright, let's go. Okay, at least we can go here. Oh yeah, this place. This spot seems excellent for fishing. It's a radio station. The Crossbow branch of the Imperial Chronicle Radio, to be more precise. It's a very new establishment, much like the RF building. The building itself suffered an attack beast for the IBC bombing. The construction for both buildings finished roughly at the same time. Hmm. 
I wonder if Heiwei is still operating out of Sun Fort. Um, is this just me or does the... Does this look different from before? I remember the desk was here. Huh. Yeah, something is definitely... I guess they had a renovation or something. Ryan, the inspection team should be arriving soon. It's kind of hard to do research when you don't know who's coming. Huh, are you? Oops, you can tell? Uh, disguise, huh? You must have it rough. Think you can let me interview you sometime? Is that If that's alright? I'll uh, get back to you on that. Can't fool a journalist, I suppose. Or a member of... <laughs> of Richard's agency. Grace can't come back just yet. At this rate, I might be interviewing the whole inspection team myself. But you're here for some other reason, aren't you? Think you could let me interview you sometime if that's alright? Hmm. Welcome to uh, the Crossbell News Service. Pardon my being blunt, but was there an issue with one of your articles? That's not it. Why would she ask that? I see, so this is where the Crossbell Times is published. Oh, I see. Could it be that she's afraid th uh, th that they're being censored or something? Yep, just about every Crossbell reads it. Even now, its circulation is being supported by the people. It's gaining even more traction now for its criticisms of the government. Oh. Though I've heard it's not without its consequences. Huh, <laughs> yeah, that sums it up. I feel like I've seen this guy before. Why is he walking around with a small child? What a weird group. Believe in giving people the answers they want and deserve. Our writers provide that. They can be extreme at times, I'll admit. Our editor-in-chief had to make quite a number of court appearances after the annexation. I think ideals things have settled down since. Huh. As usual, we're not allowed to go upstairs. My apologies, but the editorial department is close to the public. Just let me know if there's anything you need. Right, sorry about that. How this building is... It looks like an old office building. It appears to be locked. Hmm, seems like someone's inside. This building could be... RF Group Crossbell Branch. Looking up at it like this, it's really quite tall. Yes, it's not quite as tall as the tower, however. This building was originally used by a well-known bank. Can't believe he had his own bank burned down, though. That's crazy. The International Bank of Crosswell, the largest bank on the continent, once run by former President Kreuz. Yes, right before the Declaration of Independence, there was a bombing here. Since then, the building was vacated. On a side note, the repairs to the building were finished last fall. The IBC has downsized, but they should still be tenants in the building. As well as the Epstein Foundation who made the request. Alright, let's head inside. Let's ask the receptionist to introduce us to the new chief. Let's see... Let's shop. Good morning. Oh, you're not an employee. If you don't have an appointment, we can't let you in, unfortunately. Please register at the reception desk. We're also beefing up security for the inspection team's visit. Why, you ask? Well, that's confidential. Hmm. Welcome to the RF building. What can I help you with today? Well, actually, you didn't explain they were here to handle requests from the Outside Foundation. Ah, then you must be- I was told you'd be coming. Unfortunately, the Epstein Foundation branch isn't open quite this early. Ah. It seems we're a bit early. What shall we do? It would be a waste of time to simply wait here. If it's all right, I could contact you. When the person in charge gets here, I'll let you know. Are you sure? That'd be a big help, thanks. Here, I'll write down my number for you. Alright, I'll contact you once they arrive. Thanks, we'll look forward to your call. Will it be t will Tio be here? Now we can keep patrolling the town while we wait. Well then, let's be on the way. Seems we've investigated the entire harbor area by now. We may need to postpone the request from the Foundation. We'll wait for a call before we decide that. Let's head to East Street for now. Once we head south from the harbor, the cityscape will change just like that. 
Change the way exactly. You'll see soon enough. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the guiding to you, Yuna. Got it. What do you sell? Piggy bank. Item drop rate plus. Hmm. I think that's only for if you do the finishing blow. And even then, I think you get increased drop rates for breaking enemies anyway. Hmm. Any books? Hmm. Okay, let's zoom out. Yup. Hey, check this out. You actually do get higher rates here. Look at that. They even give you decimals here. What? That's insane. But they will cut off the decimals, so if you to make it count, you need to put in multiples of 10. Fortunately, Sepith Mass is always, is always a whole number. That makes life easier. Man, I should not- I should probably should have saved my Sepith Mass for this area first. Oh well. I'm sure the pro players get through the game with- uh, uh, with as- by selling as little Sepith Mass as possible, and then just- uh, and then just dumping it all here. Wait, there was a secret passage under the restaurant. I wonder if it's still there. Crossbell East Street. I'm surprised, we're just one block over, but the cityscape is so different. This is more of an Eastern style district. Crossbell is known for being a melting pot of different cultures. You don't see this in Erebonia, do you? Yes, this truly is the greatest trade city on the continent. Over there, is that the Bracer Guild building? Hmm, so it is. The prestigious A-rank Bracer, the Divine Bully of Wind, was affiliated with this branch. Unfortunately, I heard it's currently closed for the time being. I see. Huh, the signs are still up. Yes, but there are reasons for that. We don't have any requests nearby, so there isn't any place here we need to visit, but... There are a lot of tasty restaurants around here, so maybe we should take a stroll. Doesn't the Empire still adhere to a class system? Sounds old school, but it seems interesting. I'd love to meet a real-life noblewoman someday. I see, so the class system isn't coming outside of Erebonia. It's become more of a formality in other countries. The Empire is now the exception. I don't know what could possibly be in here. Uh... Oh! Book! Someone called to Tomatonio as he stared at his own body in shock. It was the lazy tomato who also survived the storm due to its small size. Ha, huh, nobody wanted to eat like that now, the lazy, lazy tomato jeered. Despite this, Tomatonio was still confident about his body, from his brilliantly red color to his deliciousness. But that moment, one last wind from the typhoon passed through the field, turning up dust and dirt. Tomatonio desperately clung to his vine again, but this time his efforts were in vain, for the vine holding him finally snapped. Carried by the wind, Tomatonio tumbled toward the forest. His brilliantly red body became scuffed and scratched and covered in dirt. It seemed to go on for forever. He finally came to a stop and found himself in the middle of a vast forest. As Tomatonio sat there stunned, he heard footsteps nearby and glanced around for a sound. He, heard, he found himself face to face with a powerful boar notorious for destroying crops. Huh, there's a delicious looking tomato on the ground here, the boar said, moving his salivating mouth closer. While Tomatonio wasn't exactly thrilled to be in the boar's presence, he was delighted at the boar's words, thinking he'd be eaten. However, the boar instead sees a lazy tomato who had also been blown away by the typhoon's last wind. The healthy-looking lazy tomato grinned with its pride as it vanished inside the boar's mouth. But as soon the boar cried gross and promptly spat what was left of the lazy tomato back out. I've never had a tomato taste this bad. And the boar then glanced over at Tomatonio. And that one looks even worse. I know it isn't delicious. He left the two tomatoes on the forest floor. Tomatonio was deeply hurt by the boar's words. Please don't judge me by my looks. I know I taste delicious. His pained voice faded away into nothingness and was swallowed by a dark forest. 
Yeah, this is so weird. Uh, instead of being scared of being eaten, they want to be eaten with honor. Time passed and Tomatonio found his freshness quickly fading. We're still determined. I'm not giving up. No matter where I am, I'm still proud of being a tomato. I'm going to be the most delicious tomato ever and bring happiness to whoever eats me. Tomatonio managed to cheer himself up with his own words and using the loss of his strength, cleaned up his wounds and tightened himself. Uh, suddenly his mud-covered skin regained its radiant luster and reflected the dazzling sunset, a color of sunset. After a short time, a black shadow appeared in front of the orange sky and descended in front of Tomatonio. This is such a weird story. Seriously. My friend Sunita, Sunita is a year younger than me, but she already knows what she wants to do when she grows up. What should I do? My younger brother Azel got a job at a big train company. He goes to work in a suit every day. He's really grown up. Guess I shouldn't brag, but I'm just so proud. I wonder if the downtown district is still around. Wait, were there always free floors? Weird. Okay, there's the girl who with the ca pet cat. Wait, where is your cat? Don't tell me the cat ran off again. Sizzle. I wanted to make lunch for my husband, but I didn't finish in time. Deep frying, you know. I love the sound the oil makes. Frying sure puts the F in fun. Oh, there's the cat. Marie. Have a good day at work, father. Bond. James Bond. Oh, this person looks familiar. That's right, we helped him in Heimdall that one time. Oh, is something wrong? Uh, it's nothing. He doesn't seem to remember, so let's keep quiet. This is going to be a little tricky. I just opened my new office, and we've been swamped with work ever since. It's going to be tough for my family, especially with my daughter getting older. Sorry, Sunita. Take care of your mother for me. Yes, of course. But well, who is the t at the top floor? What? Don't need to go this way, then why would you even add a top floor? Huh. One day, maybe we'll have to go here for a quest later. Hmm. Hey, Mailing, listen up. I'm grateful that you're helping out with the shopping and all this in my stead, but don't go anywhere dangerous and don't follow any strangers around. You hear me? Okay. I'm gonna help. Gonna give my all. I wonder if you're going to be okay. You've never done the shopping before. I'll be okay. Just wait, wait, leave it to me. Oh, sorry, can I help you? I work here at the Crosswell Business Owners Association. Recently, many companies have been seeking me out for consultation. Sorry about the mess. If you ever need anything, please let me know. Martial Artist Mishy. Very small evasion bonus, not as good as Evergreen. Hmm. Okay, next up, the Bracer Guild. Wait, what? See you, Cell. Hey there, friend. You got a, you've got a good eye. You're looking for something. You're looking for something good. All right, then. How about this? this? is a fresh, juicy melon. Highest grade, super rare. At a low, low price today only. Wow, it smells amazing, and the color is exquisite. It's a limited time offer. What should we do? You're both too easily swayed. East Street's the market stalls. So the death sentence for wallets everywhere. They're even more aggressive than I expected. Welcome. This is your lucky day, my friend. We were having a huge sale. We usually sell this mixed veggie set for 1,000 euro, but today it's only 500. What? That's so cheap. I mean, sure, but what are you going to do with it? You know, you're too easily swayed. Well, good thing she's not the one in charge of her budget. And Mitchell, wonder where he's he is. Maybe he's at a different branch now. The Crossbow branch of the Bracer Guild closed last fall. Yeah, I heard it was the Governor General's decision. Though the building still owned, uh, is still being owned by the Guild, and the Bracer still stopped by here. I see, they're, treat, being treat, they're treated differently from the guild in the capital. Well, technically, the guild is an international organization. In that sense, there are political considerations behind their treatment. You sure know a lot. Oh, right, Intelligence Division. Well, yes, my apologies. You don't need to apologize. Honestly, it's kind of impressive. 
Anyway, I wonder how the receptionist is doing. He's a really fun person. He's got dreadlocks and a really flamboyant style. He sounds like quite a character. The Bracer Guild is quite a collection of characters. I can't deny that. Hmm. Hmm? That's sign. Nine volley. Welcome, welcome. I got fresh fish for sale here. This one's a saltwater fish airship from Liberal. I've also been getting shipments from Mortis. They have to freeze it, but now that there are no longer any tariffs, it's nice and convenient. I have my reservations over it as a cross and but of course, my business is business. I can't let my personal feelings get in the way. Dried Salmon. What the hell is this shop? It's got machine guns and bazookas. The next of those high quality explosives is an Arcus 2 without a serial number. They even have random pieces of jewelry. Instructor, does this place have any relation to the Jingle shop? It does, as it so happens. This is their main store. Is that woman the owner? That's probably Jingo's mother. Might be good to introduce ourselves. Hmm. Can they use the services here? Six cases of 30 caliber, uh, 30 caliber AP over here. Is it ever a pain to take small, uh, take inventory in a warehouse this small? Wouldn't have to deal with this crap if they hadn't chased us undesirables out of the downtown district. That is strange. Usually they'd be chasing you into the district. Hmm, some customers? It's not often I see a celebrity in my shop. Working hard, Ashton Chevalier. You know who I am? You must know why we're here then. Uh, here, huh? Yeah, I heard from my, all from my daughter. You're all from Forest Branch Campus. She promised you were good customers who wouldn't be shy about black market products. She doesn't do out price that good on the regular. It's usually only reserved for Jaeger Corps. Is that information not especially sensitive? You admit to negotiating with Jaegers. I knew you were a broker, but I didn't know you were a broker. How, how's this shop even allowed to even be here? All my ideas, I suppose you just have to be born with common sense. My name is known throughout the industry as the one who does business with militaries across the, um, the continent and with Jaeger Corps alike. They want something, and I have it. It isn't hard for me to do as I please. Trade to the east from here is blocked in paper, but that won't stop me from going through a third country. I've heard some companies even thrive with their customers so in need. It's a bit unnerving how expensive the black market is. That's what happens when the government turns a blind eye. Though I'm curious about which companies she means exactly. Oh, you know what? Pretty sure I've heard of the SSS mentioned in a place like this. Really? I mean, it was back when Crosswell was still a state. <laughs> anyway, you guys gonna buy something or what? I've heard you do good business for my, with my daughter, so I'll cut you a fair deal. Hmm. All the basics. I wonder if I should make any more evergreens. That would take oh, uh, way too many U materials, so... Jingle was telling me that there were some real characters in Leaves. Like this one sucker who spends all his free time doing it, everything anyone asks him to. Maybe you know him? I can feel her eyes boring into me. If she can make Instructor Reen sweat like that, she must really be something else. Seriously, the structure of this place is so different. I remember it used to be like a little uh, 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 lower area here, but now it's inaccessible. Wait a minute. There's no nothing going fr from the south. Uh, uh, south side doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Hey, the Fisherman's Guild. This is a... It's the Fisherman's Guild. The name's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty popular and even hold tournaments periodically. I see, so they're a little different from the Imperial Fishing Club. I heard the owner of Neo Sui An was affiliated with them. I can kind of see why now. Sui 
Cerd in here too? Yes, I'm looking for a good place to survey the local geography. Well, that's the strange thing to be lo going around looking for. The local geography, eh? I think I may be able to help you, actually. Or, well, I know someone who can. I can introduce you to him. Oh, really? That would be much appreciated. Thanks to you, I don't need to wander around aimlessly now. I'm grateful for your help. Hmm. Nature, huh? And you, do you sell fishing bait? Yes, you do. You don't sell any gear I don't already have, though. Hmm. For the longest time, the Fisherman's Guild and Imperial Fishing Club oppose each other. But for the past few years, relations have improved slightly. <laughs> it makes me happy. I owe both sides so much. But wait, we have a guest right now who's from the Imperial Fishing Club. With such telling around, it would be a waste if I didn't ask him for pointers. A member of the Imperial Fishing Club could be... No, now isn't the time to think about that. Hmm. Okay. Kenneth Lake Lord. Is he, is he the one who's going to be here? Or is it going to be Annabelle again? East Crossbell Highway. Hmm. That's that's where that old couple lived. And also, the Jizo statue. Can I still give stuff to you? Oh, this thing is human shaped. It looks similar to an Eastern Jizo, but isn't one. Oh, are you familiar with them? Yeah, this was designed to mimic an Eastern Jizo. I see, they're really cleaning this place up. So can I leave food here? No. Oh well. Providing our customers with quality products, that's, that's the real beauty of business. We're finally starting to stand on our own two feet. This is our store run by us for us. Welcome to PNR General Store. Wait, those two are always inside Long Long Tavern talking about their ambitions. PR, PNR stands for Puck and Roos. Him and me, we're gonna make it big. Just so you wait and see. Okay, that's Elliot's gift. Hope he'll like it. Wow, he's almost maxed out. And he got a, a stat boost. I wonder, Reen's stat boost mainly come from like side quests and such, while everyone else gets it through gifts and their own bonding events, I guess. Oh, oh no, it's covered up! I'll never be able to use the secret exit now! Once I'm done eating, I'm gonna get back on the road. I'm going to Altair and Calvert. I, I need to make sure I'm full before I leave. Huh? Aren't we at odds with Calvert right now? I thought trade was prohibited. Oh, don't you know? If you filled some paperwork to let you through. It's like authorized smuggling. I see. Oh, I can't believe that's allowed. But is that not similar to some of the practices in Crossbell? Owly, you're not helping. Oh my, you're so cute. Welcome to Long Lao. Daddy's cooking is the best in the world. One bite is enough to make anyone happy. Please have a taste for yourself. You can lodge with us here at Long Lao. We have great rooms and great meals. Please let me know if you're interested. Try, uh, try to cross like an average show, they'll turn you away at the border. But if you pass a flash at a certain spot, they'll let you drive on to Calvert. Stru is kind of a hassle, and it can be dangerous, but you can make a lot of money. Pick up, huh? The food here is awesome. It's much better than the restaurants near the border. I should make that eastern girl pour me a drink. Ah! Glare. I feel chill in the air. And maybe I'm already drunk. Ah! Do you realize the only reason the people of Crossbell gets to live in pieces is because we protect the border, right? Ah, why don't you pour me a drink? We're part of the 8th Armored Division. Our job is to protect the border. We've had a few sporadic flare-ups here and there. It's stressful to say at least. Oh, I'm sorry about my partner. This guy, this is just how he gets after a drink or free. Midrun, I think you've had enough. You should be more considerate to the locals. Dragon fried rice. If your rice is wet, you fucked up.
Fierce Tiger Chow Fun. Hmm. This one's mostly defensive based. So it's, really, it's really hard for a Calvardian to get a visa here. So most of them went back. I was worried, but someone told me that if you talk to a certain somebody, that you can get an extension. Which is why I still live here. I can't go home until I learn all my master's cooking skills. There are three rules to this establishment. One, eat quietly. Two, do as I say. Three, keep your hands off Shan Shan. Now place your orders at the counter. If you memorize the rules, then go order at the counter. This is the downtown district. It's currently being redeveloped. It shouldn't be a part of our field exercises this time. Shoot. We're back at Central Square. Hmm, there are way more people here than earlier. Well, this is the heart of Crestwell City. It has everything from department stores to Orville shops to stores to weapon stores. We're going to investigate the cryptid. We can upgrade our equipment here. Now, with so many people on the street, we might be able to listen to rumors and gather information. We received another mandatory request, right? It might be hard since this place is so huge, but we should loop around the whole area. Hmm, this isn't good. I understand I need it by noon, but that's not enough time. Kate! You know, what are you doing here? Oh, so the military school that came here from the Empire was... Yes, Force Military Academy's branch campus. The school I transferred to. I see, but I'm sure it's a, a lot's going on, but welcome home. It looks like Major Revolt pulled a few sp strings for you. Yeah, she did. Oh, let me introduce you. You introduced Reed and Company to Captain Kate, who filled them in on the Security Division's request. I see, so the Ashton Chevalier is your instructor. Nice to meet you. I'm Captain Kate from the Crosswell Military Police's Security Division. It's an honor to work with a famous hero. Thanks, but there's no need to be so formal. This is all part of our field exercises. I'm just an instructor, so feel free to treat me the same as you would anyone else. Is that so? Understood. While cutting the chase, we need to ask you for a favor. It's going to be a bit involved. Do you have the time to help? And what was yours again? Of course, I'm going to go investigating the stores here, right? Yes, last night we received an order. The general government is currently prepping the paperwork to submit to the inspection team. Some of the papers were sent to the military police to fill out. More specifically, we need to check the sales and customer numbers of multiple stores in the city. We need to go around auditing places? I guess you could call it an administrative investigation. That doesn't really seem like something that a security division should be handling, though. But it is an important task, so make sure we'll have to make sure to do it. I, I would like to ask you to help with free stores. We just need them to fill out a quick questionnaire, so it shouldn't take too long. Understood. Which source do you want us to take? Gen 10. The second is the Business Owners Association. We were just there. And lastly, the Noodle Stand by the Harbor. All the previous areas. The Orville Store, the Business Owners Association, and the Noodle Stall. The Orville Store. I imagine it's not much different from an RF store. I guess the Business Owners Association is unique to Crosswell. Yeah, you're probably right. So I need to head out to gather up all the questionnaires. I'll give you my contact info, so please call me when you're done. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for your help. Not a problem, we've got covered. Hmm, sounds like this is going to be more tedious than I expected. But I'd really like to help Kate, so it's fine, right? Well, this paperwork for the inspection team. And it's, it's mandatory, so that's even more reason to help out. It's only free stores, so we can handle this quickly and efficiently. Alright then, let's go around and get this over with. Okay, just remember I had another request I had to do at, at back at camp. So first I need two dried salmons. Then we go to Nine Volley. Okay, Retro Mishi Strap. That takes care of her quest, so I can do that once I'm allowed to return to the camp. And I have to audit the... Business Owners Association. Ooft! Check out the sexy nurse. You're well in there, hen. Hey! Don't say it like that. This is a proper medical intern's uniform. 
can't believe it's been over half a year since we last met, though. Wait, is this the same building from before? I, where were the other two who are in the building? Those, that sibling team. Don't think I'll ever forget Vivi bubbling away after you said you were transferring schools. <laughs> it seems like she's found a job that suits her well, though. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Right now in Crossbell? It looks like a different person is banging the store from earlier. Yes, you noticed too. And that person looks familiar. Isn't that Vivi? She, we met her in St. Art. You're right, she looks exactly like her, but... Uh, what coincidence? Huh. That a customer I spy? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I've just been standing here talking and... Long time no see, you two. Linda enrolled in the medical university, right? I didn't expect I to find you here too, Becky. Reen! <laughs> oh, so oh, so both of you graduated from Forest Main Campus. You must be Vivi's older twin sister. <laughs> nice to meet you. Spinning image of one another, but also the pure opposite personality-wise. Cannot beat it. This one here doesn't even realize she's a babe. Plus, she's an easy, easy target for teasing. Hey, Becky! Surprising how many of your classmates aren't in mil the military, instructor. That's nonsense, but... I guess only about 40% of them end up in the military. Aye, but maybe not any more starting next year. That appears to be the case, or so I heard from Vivi. Huh? I heard you left to start your own company, Becky. But I didn't know you were in, here in Crossbell. Well, you cannot find a place that's harder for commerce than Crossbell is right now. The East Street here in particular is lined up w with booths and people are dead nice too. So ask Chairman Morris to let me work here. I, s huh, I see. Being all around these booths sure is great. Yes, it makes me want to eat and walk around. Oh, you know it, girl. Everything's set up perfectly to do just that. Um, Reen, was there something important you all came here to do? Oh, that's right. Actually, Becky, question error. Oh my. We uh, we bit sudden, but I guess officials work always like that. And I'll say I get. So, uh, okay. so, I'll go grab the chairman. This should do. Thank you. Let's take a look. Wow, looks like your numbers are much better than last year. Yes, we've had less customers from Calvert, but tourists from Arabonia have doubled, you see. And there have been more residents after they renovated the downtown district. The downtown district, that's where, near, near where we are. But what about the residents of that apartment in the downtown district? What happened to them? There's a district like that in Heimdall, but was the one here renovated too? It was more like it was redeveloped. Well, there's more to it, but we don't need to concern ourselves with that for now. Then again, it's for the, if it's for the inspection team, the more information they have, the better it will be for the future of Crossbell. Please deliver it to them with care. Yes, understood. Thank you. Alright, Reen students, best of luck to you. I pray you find success in your field exercises. They weren't forced out of their homes, were they? I only can't, it just became a medical intern this spring. But the first thing I did was put Becky in charge of ordering equipment for the hospital. Sometimes she comes by for a consultation. Huh, oh, well this gig sure is keeping you on your toes. Try, just try not to overwork yourself. Likewise, go look at your field exercises. The economy is so good here now that, that, that pretty much every store is doing well. Which makes it mean tons of work for me and the association. I cannot deny that some things don't really sit well with me, but I can't I can ignore them for now. Right now I, I'm just gonna focus on helping the president out. I'm gonna help. Okay. Wait, they're having the same conversation. Weird. Noodles. Hmm. Huh, customers? Come on in. Is it just the four of you? No, we're actually here to conduct an audit. You know, told them about the audit the security division requested. How you guys are handling that? 
I knew the Governor General's office was going to have the security division audit us, but I didn't expect to see a bunch of Imperial students. Yes, well, we've gotten involved because it's now part of our exercises. I know it's a hassle, but we'd very much appreciate your cooperation. Well, if that's the case, then okay. Koki, bring the books. We should only need this year's and last year's. Gotcha, coming right up. Okay, these are the sales numbers and estimated number of visitors from this year and last year. Excuse us while we go over these. Whoa, the sales numbers shot away up. Oh yeah, you know the big RF building in the business district, right? Well, even if you ignore them, a bunch of companies from all over the continent have opened up offices here. Daytime sales are up, but it's the night sales that have really grown. So last year I decided to take this boy you see here as my disciple to help me out. I see, I remember coming here a few times last year myself. That's right, I remember you. You came here three times so I remember correctly. I'm glad to see you have graduated. Ah, I see. I believe I was on a different mission at the time. Oh, so you've been to Crosswell before. Wait, aren't you that famous? You fool, he's still a customer. Don't go treating him any differently. As Newell artisans, our job is to feed our customers. That's it. Eek, yes sir! Heh, <laughs> well thanks for your cooperation. We'll be sure to stop by for lunch at some point. Welcome, how may I help you? You're very stiff. I know you need to be so formal with us. Really? Whew, that's a hell of a lot easier for me. Anyway, the boss's noodles are a shit. Come back and get more soon. I heard you graduated. Come soon, one and all. Have yourself a meal on me. As if I say no to that. We'll come visit once we have an opportunity. Still one more audit we have to do. Hmm. Don't want to go to West Street. What? Oh, what? Or examining the bell. They're using the bell's right over a passage into the geo front. I know I saw it earlier, but it's really quite imposing close up. It's at least five arch tall. And the database is listed as a, cross a bell of crossbell. It's also magical. It's, just, it's said that it said that it was created by some big shop from the Middle Ages, and that it was it's what inspired the name crossbell. So that, and that's why it's a symbol of the city. And it's like we have our very own personal tour guide with us. Though I could swear I once heard there were, tolo, uh, there were three bells in total. Hmm. The Sunfort's Bell. Uh, members of Forest Branch Campus, welcome. Your reputation precedes you. I'm sure you've heard many conflicting reports, but don't worry. Orders have been or has been restored. Th that isn't to say that keeping an annex region under control doesn't have its share of troubles. Of course, we must remain cautious. Hmm. Sounds like he's from the Imperial Army. Gina, please hold together. I know. Okay, it's okay. Take deep breaths. Since the inspection team is coming today, I was told to ha hand out balloons for the ceremony. This doesn't feel right. I'm supposed to welcome these Imperials into our home, as if they ha haven't already made it theirs. Hmm. Rufus is just a dreamiest. His long blonde hair flowing in the wind, that piercing gaze. True Imperial nobles are something else. Wow, what happened to the only having eye for Arios? But whatever, I get it. I mean, you've got two hands for a reason, after all. Anyway, do you hear about this? his new faux album? Nothing but Rufus cover to cover. Really? I'm still gonna buy like five. Hmm. I'm gonna need to... Oh, there she is. Welcome home, Yuna. What, Wendy? Long time no see. She kind of... Now that I think about it, she looks a little bit like Aerith. Yuna looks, seems super excited. Does that mean... Yeah, I think she knows her. This is Wendy. I've known her since I was little. She's only, the, she's only the best engineer Crosswell's got to offer. I've looked up to her for a long time now. Okay, okay, no need to hype me up too much. Anyway, welcome soon to the branch campus. I already got a call from the Governor General's office. You're here for your field exercises, was it? Look, uh, look sure, sure if it is, I'm here to back you up. I can make adjustments to your orcas too, so let me know. Much obliged, you'd be doing a, us a great service. Oh, nice to, nice to be so appreciated. You keep that up, you'll go places, kid. Oh, did your friend finally come to visit, Wendy? Hi, I'm Chaco. I'm one of the salespeople here. Wendy told me so much about you. Let me know if you need help with anything. Alright, that's, uh, that's right. I wanted to ask you to do something. Audit. What? An audit? Straight from the desk of the Governor General, no less. Honestly, I don't know what to think about it either. Sorry about this. Will you mind helping us out as best as you can? Fine, I suppose a lot of Crespellans do work for the Governor General's office. 
Chaco, can you ask the owner f for the sales data? Sure, coming right up. Here you go. Thank you so much. Hmm. Looks like this is all the information. I didn't expect the sales and customer counts to be so high. Seems comparable to the RF store in Heimdall. Well, Crossball is bustling with tourists from all over. Until, up until, until early last year, the numbers had dropped, but they've been on the upswing since then. Thanks to no small part to the increase in visitors from the Arabonia, I imagine. In addition to RF, we also carry products from ZCF, the Epstein Foundation, and the Verne Company. Many of our customers like the option of choosing from all four. Huh? You still carry Verne Orwell products from Calvert? That's kind of hush hush, but we sell them under a different brand name. The Verne Company can't afford to lose out on their sales from Crossbell. The Governor's General. Uh, the Governor General's office is aware of this and has allowed it. I guess it all comes down to money. I see. The tensions are high, you can't stop the economy. As long as the Transcontinental Railroad is still in operation, it's an unavoidable circumstance. Thank you for the survey data. I'll send this over to Captain Kate. Sure, no problem. Good luck, Yuna. Orbal dryer, give to Toa. No, but I don't see any Orbal microwaves. Can't give this now. I guess it. Wait. What? Oh, I guess since she's at the campus, I could always wait until later, huh? I never thought you'd make a return like this, Yuna. Hey, you never know what connect your connections can lead to. Huh? Oh, never mind. Just focus on your exercises. If you get hurt, I'll never get let you hear the end of it. Alright. Just like that, she's a lot better at dealing with Yuna than I am. So, instructor, are you familiar with Vanish Masters yet? If you don't mind, I'd love to play against you whenever you have the time. Huh, I don't mind. Hey, no fair. I really wish there was a way to buy you materials. Okay, same selection as everyone else, I guess. Where's Kate? Now complete our investigation in all three locations. The data collected seems very useful too. Should we report to Kevin Kate? Yeah, I'll give her a call right now. Yeah, I want to check out the store first in case they have new cards to sell before challenging K <laughs> challenging Wendy. Thank you for helping. This should complete my investigation, so I can finally make a report. Always got to be a service. Help us out too, since we got to see the situation in Crossbell. I'm sure the Governor General figured that would be the case. Well, I see the blue uniforms are, are for the military police, while the purple ones are for the normal army. I don't think I agree with that, but... You know, I'm sure you're going through a lot, so good luck. We'll make the best of our situation. Lloyd Wolf, too, of course. Ah. Thanks for your hard work. Now I must excuse myself. Even the cars seem to have Erebonia's logo now. She seems very dedicated to her work. She was a top officer in the Metropolitan Division of the former Crossbell Pol Police Department. I've always looked up to her. I'm so glad to see she hasn't changed. Yuna. I see, so the previous police department and the military police aren't exactly the same. Yeah, Imperial Army personnel are now in charge, so of course there's been some changes. Anyway, that gets one of our mandatory quests out of the way. Let's continue our special operations missions. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Times. Port ingredients. Hmm. Welcome, can I help you find anything? Here are times we strive to be your partner through good times and bad. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Hmm. Oh, hell, ideas, you're, you're... Or is, is there something I can do for you? Uh, oh, no, no, I mean... Welcome to our humble store. Our selection is modest, but I hope you find what you're looking for. That's the Ashton Chevalier. What's he doing in Crossball? Uh, uh, we're proud to carry both the Crossball Times and the Imperial Chronicle in our humble store, sir. 
Hey, uh, there's no really no need to be so formal. Really? Oh well, huh. Sorry about that. Crossbell times. I don't I don't see it. These are all the same old cards, but I'll take this imp I'll take that immoral hero. Hmm, this could be good for when I get Machias in a party. Racer Mishi. Oh wait, I wonder if I should collect all the Mishis from now on. Shoot. I don't think I've been doing been doing a good enough job collecting these rare accessories. Oh well. Camellia lipstick. Hmm. Hmm, so by using this, I sh will be able to float on the water. Its shape and color remind me of some of the Clamps Lias. I thought so too. I figured it could help you for your club, so I fi hope you like it. I see, I will try it out next time, Fidget. Send Laura a gift. Almost maxed out. Hmm, the restaurant. I heard it went over to Main Street the other day. Came all the way to Crossbow for this. Do you think the pace were all the potential hassle? Oh, whatever, let's go eat. A cryptid. Bing Sept Cafe. Get this recipe. Our motto is beautiful food for a reasonable price. Thankfully, the people of Erebonia are happy with our restaurant. I hope you enjoy it too. Hmm, can no, so many sealed off areas. Slurp. The Governor General's office saw his clout. I heard they paid a premier to drive out the people in the downtown district so it could be redeveloped. That is not good. I guess this kind of cloud is how they were able to do so much until now. Gantz. Hmm. Knight versus Ranger. This time they have the range advantage. Okay. But the problem is, the ranger might go after my Blix, uh, even if my knight is in the front row. But they can't afford to ignore my knight either. The tank. Powering up here. Take out the front row. You are already on thin ice. Let's see you turn this around. Oh no, the the Foss! It's only targeting my knight, not the back row people, huh? Convenient for me? Hmm. Everyone powers up. Oh, I should have summoned the pellet first. Master cards consume mana when using skills. Okay.
Three turns. You win this time. Duck home. Again, killed before you could even summon your best uh, cards. What? Six? That's insane. It's so powerful, though. A two. It's, it could. It's way stronger than some. Than even the knight. Holy shit! This is like a god card. What? And you're t she never got a chance to summon it because I killed her so quickly. I see. So it was a good thing I, m I managed to uh, uh, to kill her in only three turns. Hmm, I forgot to read this one. Mark continues to defeat monsters every day to protect the status of the local 10 hero. However, eventually the monsters stopped appearing, meaning that Mark couldn't perform his heroic feats as often, and he started losing fans and receiving less praise. Fine, Mark said haughtily. If killing monsters here isn't enough, I'll just do something even greater. The will be show the townspeople even bigger and stronger heroics they treat him like a hero once more. So Mark started venturing in the forest to dispatch monsters there in order to boast about his strength and seek more praise. Shino followed him every time in all of his brother's efforts. One day, a thief appeared in town. Mark easily killed the thief, but believing this wasn't enough, Mark ventured outside of town and killed all the thieves he could track down. Okay, thanks to Mark's heroics, nothing could, would ever be stolen again. And Shino continued to follow his brother and watch him kill without hesitation. One day a burglar came to town, but Mark tailed and killed him. However, Mark wasn't satisfied with just the burglar's death, so he tracked the- Oh, shit! So he tracked down a burglar's family and killed them as well. While Mark was able to be protect the townspeople from crime, the town itself became known as ruthless and a, a ruthless and barbaric community because of Mark's violent justice. And the more Mark branched his sword, the less the townsfolk regarded him as a hero. Fearful of Mark's brutality, the townsfolk distanced themselves from the murderous swordsman. Why are they shunning me, the local town savior and uh, hero and their savior? Mark was confused and then barred asking anyone's opinion, not even that of Shino. He was too proud of himself, believing himself to be the perfect being. I know what I have to do. I must become even stronger and kill more enemies. Surely they'll praise me and call me a hero once again. And so Mark re remained blind as the white people no longer considered him a hero. Obsessed with being lauded as a hero, again he pursued his sword training once more. Let me guess, he joins Ouroboros. Oh, I forgot to visit Garande. Oh, who are all of you? Oh, you girl, I've seen you doing things with the SSS. Yes, my name is Yuna. I'm currently enrolled in the Imperial Military Academy. I see, seems like you've been through a lot. Well, if you're affiliated with the Erebonian military, I can sell and modify weapons for you. I don't have much, but feel free to take a look. Hmm. Heavy guardians, not worth it. Not for practical use. Hmm. And the SSS building. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Oh. It's just not the same. Hmm? Yuna? Seems to be some kind of facility, but it's currently shut down. As expected, there's no one there. But what happened to Kope? Is Kope still in there somewhere? Or maybe Kope joined Lloyd. Hmm. No going to Imelda's. And this place goes where again? No. They're really cutting out some of the maps, huh? This is West Street. This is the last area Yuna recommended. There's nothing special about it, it's just a residential area. There's not- there's a really famous bakery here though. It's so good that it's had, even had a few articles written about it. Sniff. 
I see, it must be this building. Uh, it smells good. Yeah, this smell means I'm home. Damn, this place is really good, so I recommend you all try it. Huh? So it's around here. You know, you don't need to hold back. We have some time, so you should go see your family. Oh, uh, that's... I see, so that's why you've been acting strange. So your, so your home is somewhere around here. It's the apartment building to the left. I sent them a letter, so they should know I'm home. I guess I'll go check out the bakery. You're all hungry, right? I'll go get some for everyone. Ah. Instructor, you're not coming? It would probably be best if we didn't intrude either. Damn it, this isn't like me. Can you guys come with me? I want to introduce you all to my family. Ah. Yes, of course. Are you sure you don't need to? Please, I insist. I may not like you, but you are my instructor. I would be going against my upbringing if I didn't introduce you to my family. I see. In that case, we'll go with you. And um, what is going on? I don't know, but perhaps I wasn't quite putting myself in their shoes. After going to a military school in an invader's country, she's coming back home. Ah. Wait, I forgot something in station the station area. There's someone here who has a book for me? I got up early this morning and saw a train I've never seen before. It was silver, had beautiful curves, and a small crest with the horn lion emblem. It was the coolest train ever. Ah, so cool. Is he talking about the Durflinger? I must look really cool to a railroad enthusiast. Here, take this. I'm in a good mood today, so I just thought I'd share good vibes. Things like this are perfect for long train rides. Thank you. Damn it, I'm doing so many things out of order. Out of optimal order. That makes it hard to do timestamps. I'm on my way through the Leilock Lake Canyon, several arches out of town. The cliffs towered above me, stretching to the sky. Th that was the reason why, despite being mid-morning, it felt so dark down the canyon. I felt as though I was shut away from the rest of the world. The great white sky was compressed to a thin strip of azure, zigzagging overhead. As I looked... Wow, this is... A, uh, 17. It's... Pretty long. As I looked up, I saw two birds fly by, far above me. Seeing them, I thought back to my conversation with her that day before. Have you ever heard of Firefly Fungus? Clementine asked as she brought us in her. Seen them once or twice, never eaten one, though, Henry said between mouthfuls of food. Is it a kind of, kind of fungus that looks like fireflies, or like fungus that grows on fireflies, I asked. Henry in the middle of a big gulp of water to spit take spring worry bits of his dinner here and there. What kind of question is that? He coughed up more of his drink. Really think there are fireflies with a bunch of fungus growing all over them? Ew, that'd be gross, man. I actually thought there were fireflies like that, uh, there were fireflies like that, but I kept it to myself. Lately, I've been thinking of making a new dish with some more exotic ingredients like firefly fungus. But th that's a dangerous fungus. It can attract monsters easily, apparently. Clementine explained that she cleaned up Harry's mess. If I'm able to whip something up, would you like to try it? Of course, I responded instantly. Henry stared at me dumbfounded. You signed up for that really quick. For all you know, those mushrooms could be straight up nasty. Hearing that, Clementine frowned angrily. It was pre actually pretty rare to see her like that. They won't be after I'm done with them. I promise I'll make something extra delicious. But you, you can't even get them in this town, right? Said Henry. I'm sure someone's selling them somewhere. But are you really going to make a cross-state trek every time you get run low on ingredients? Oh, Clementine said, a bit dejected. I still haven't figured that part out. Hire the bracers. She excused herself and hurried back into the kitchen. That wasn't very nice, Henry, I said, glaring at him. Can you really not find any around here? Who knows, he shrugged. There's a forest p past the canyon, so it's possible. I instantly shot out of my seat and turned to the leave, but Henry's reflexes were too fast. He grabbed my arm, stopping me. You can go out once uh, go once it's way out, he said with a sigh. So taking his advice, I set out for Le Lock Lake Canyon first thing next morning. As I walked, the steep canyon wall slowly parted, and before long, I found myself standing in front of the verdant forest. Henry told me to look in especially shadowy parts of the forest or around rotting trees. I made my way for the forest, picking anything even vaguely mushroom-shaped. It didn't take long before the bag I had brought with me had grown heavy with a cornucopia of different mushrooms. I figured I, if I couldn't find a firefly fungus for Clementine, I would at least give her a variety of other mushrooms to choose from. What if some of them are poisonous? As I continued my search through the forest, I came across a, I, I came across a clearing and was struck by how beautiful and tranquil it was. The little stream quietly wound its way through the trees. Rays of sunlight filtered through the treetops shone down 
blurring on the surface of the water. A number of squirrels and small birds were perched on the trees above me, chittering and chirping merrily. It was a scene straight out of a painting, more beautiful than anything I'd seen in my days working at the Foundation. Oh, it's rare to see anyone all the way out here. I heard the sound of rustling leaves and turned to see an old man step out of the thicket. Traveling alone, young man, he asked me, trying to outrun a spot of heartbreak, are we? Or maybe we're looking for something. I stared at the old man. Beneath his head of short white hair, I spotted a few long green strands poking out here and there. He averted his eyes and nervously cleared his throat. Well, as for me, I'm here to pick mushrooms, he said. It seems like someone got to all of them first. I continued to glare wordlessly at the old man. Beats of sweat began to form on his forehead. He cleared his throat once again. Oh, what's that you got in your bag there? He asked. Could be mushrooms, perhaps? They're trying to strike a bargain, I finally spoke. Yes, exactly, he exclaimed. I like a youngster who understands. So about the, that firefly, I mean, what's... Was it you're looking for way out here? Firefly fungus, I curtly responded. Well, I just happened to have one right here. He held a mushroom with a faint green glow to it. That old man's suspicious. How do you know we were looking for that exact fungus? They went to some trouble finding this, be sure to use it well, he said. Sure, thanks, I said, taking the mushroom from his hands and turning to leave. Well, wait just a minute, he called out. As I walked around, the old man quickly grabbed my arm, stopping me. It was a familiar feeling, and a much stronger grip than an actual old man would have. That's what we agreed on. You need to give me that bag in exchange. I didn't agree to anything I told him. You just gave this to me. No oh, so that's why we are called Heartless. That... Th huh. What? That's not fair, Samurai. You can treat an old man like that? You're pretty strong for an old man. I gave him an unimpressed look. The same kind he's given me at least once nearly every day. Henry blanched at my words, and the white wiglet he was wearing fell slightly askew on his head. Oh, that's why. He it was his friend that disguised as an old man. Look, just let me have the mushrooms. You're going to try get a try your dishes too, I told him. Shut up, man. I just want my shirt for helping you. He snapped at me. He started grabbing at the firefly fungus and attempted to take it back. We began bickering like a pair of children. Give it back. No, let go. Not until you give it back. Unfortunately, we didn't realize how our fight would end until it was too late. When we finally attempted to rip the mushroom out of each other's hands, we each let out a yell and pull as hard as we could. Oh, torn in two. But wait, as long as you preserve it, I'm sure she could still use it for cooking, right? I mean, she has to chop up the mushroom in order to use it in the dish to begin with. Oh man, an awkward silence fell over us as we started to pieces in our hand. We picked ourselves up and silently headed back to town. As we left the forest and headed back to the canyon, the sun, the sun was beginning to hang low in the sky. You know, Sonny, this trip is a bit rough on this old man's knees, Henry piped up. I wouldn't mind if you carried me back to town. You're pretty spry. I think you can make it on your own, I told him, curtly. Henry sighed and abandoned his old man's facade, picking up his pace. We turned to our silence, each of us absorbed in a complicated anger. However, it wasn't long until a boy snapped us back to reality. You there, halt! What's that you have? I turned to look at whomever it was who had spoken to us, only be to be greeted by a familiar face. What were you up to today? You both have leaves in your hair, Clementine asked as she brought us our dinner later that evening. I pulled a, a, a vibrant green leaf out from behind my ear. I didn't notice it there at all. It had been an exhausting day. Oh, remember how we were talking about firefly fun uh, mushrooms yesterday? Clementine said. I actually decided not to use them after all. I was trying to think about what I could make of them, but I couldn't come up with anything good. She gave a sheepish smile. Well, I guess everything turned out fine in the end, I said with a small, tired grin. Yeah, I guess so, murdered and exhausted Henry. Huh? Clementine told her her, her head in confusion at us. Henry and I spent the rest of the night bur bur burying our sorrows in food. Earlier that evening, it was a bracer of Boris who called out to us in the canyon. The same Boris who led me away after the fight in the restaurant. Boris and, uh, Henry and I were so preoccupied that we crossed the border between the sightseeing area and the bracer's training facility without realizing it. We were given a stern lecture, and of course, all the mushrooms I picked were confiscated. Ouch. But is it really within their jurisdiction to take your mushrooms? Hmm. No, we don't need to go this way, not even for souvenirs. Brands. To combat terrorism, the railways will be stopped a few hours this afternoon. Hmm. That's not good. Wait, we can go to Ursula Road? But not the fuel exercise camp. Okay. Bakery Bellheim is where she lives. Abandoned law office. Heh. <laughs> um, there's a dead end ahead. Shall we go back? It didn't always used to be a dead end. There used to be a nice car there. A car that would heal all your CP in one go.
Oh, Yuna, long time no see. It's been about three years. You've really grown up. Um, it hasn't even been a whole year yet. Oscar, you've always been got a ba bad at guesstimating. But do you really think I've grown up? Yeah, it's not like they just let anybody into the police academy. Oscar's handsome, but he's kind of oblivious. Oh, is something wrong? I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, take these. I just finished baking them. Golden bagel. Wow, they smell really good. Is it the new bread for this month? Oscar, are you sure we can have these? Yeah, consider it a homecoming gift. Plus, there are people who share the same kind of connection with them. Huh? He's probably talking about Randy and the other guy. Uh, consider this a welcoming gift. We, we have tons of great bread, so please try them out. Memorize it. Hmm. ATS up. Hmm, there's the quest. Uh, no back room this time. I think th they said the, the owner w was doing something else. The store offers a new type of bread every month, and they're all winners every time. That's why I make a point of stopping by every time one comes out. Oh, you must be the Imperials who accepted my request, right? Wait, what are you doing here, Yuna? And what's with the matching uniform? Well, a lot of stuff's happened in the past couple months. Oh, do you know her, Yuna? We're from Forest Branch Campus. We're here regarding your request. It's a pleasure to meet you. As for Yuna, she's part of our class. We need to explain Yuna's situation to Bennett. I see. I heard you joined the military or something after you graduated from the police academy. Uh, sorry for not telling you. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you've been through a lot. On the bright side, it looks like you've got good people all around you. You're Yuna's classmates then, right? Don't be too hard on her, okay? Yes, of course. Bennett, please, you're embarrassing me. Um, anyway, about the request. Oh, sorry, you already read it, right? Yes, I believe it was a culinary-based request. Something about revolutionizing the world of bread, right? Does that have anything to do with the pure bread contest? What is that? Right, I better explain to the artist first. This bakery changes its menu every month. That's where the pure bread comes in. Oscar and I compete to see whose bread tastes better, and the winner gets on the menu. But Oscar has gotten so good that his bread seems to win every single time. I've gotta beat him. That's my menu. So this time I want to create bread that not even he can compete with. And to that, I need some exceptionally unique ideas. I see, so it's inspiration you're looking for. Well, count us in. I'll do whatever it takes to help Morgays. Unique ideas, huh? I'd say we make some pretty unique dishes from time to time. Unique is one way to describe them. Yeah, one of our personal specialties should j do just a trick. I think we got this. Looks like you're starting to figure things out. Well, I'm not sure just one idea will be good enough. You'll ha you have a point. What should we do then? Um, well, I didn't want to borrow you all, so I was only going to ask for one, but... Honestly, I would like free. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll bring them right away. Yes, this is our job, so it's no bar at all. Free unique dishes. One moment, please. Okay, thank you. But they say I need seven for max BP. I mean, AP. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Onion trio, cookie. No, we need to do more. These look splendid. I feel like I'm on the verge of figuring something out, or maybe not. Well, we don't like to worry about it. Maybe you'll we'll come. To, maybe something will come to you later. Yeah, I'll try experimenting for a bit. I feel like this is the first time I've been able to focus in a while. I'm glad I asked you guys for help. You're having trouble focusing. Did something happen? It's nothing. My father went to North Ambria for work, you see, and it's just me and Oscar here now. It must be difficult running this shop with just the two of you. Yeah, it's just the two of us here, and we'll be working shoulder to shoulder, and he'll, he'll smile at me and... Darn Oscar, get my hell right. Or um, so is she? Shush, stuff like this is strictly girl talk. If you say so. Anyway, thank you for the dishes. I haven't had an epiphany just yet, but I'll keep on experimenting. I'll beat Oscar so bad, I'll wipe that brilliant smile off his face. No, I need to focus. Come on, Bennett. Eliminate all distractions. Hmm, will three be enough? Maybe we can give her more. I'll let you decide that for yourselves. Completed for now. What do you mean for now? Uh, uh, wait, this is for me? Why? Wait, what? Why did we stop there? Can't really have all this? We insist. Okay, thank you. Everything is cooked so meticulously. Impressive work, guys. You must have enjoyed making these. May have been just been stressing myself too out too much. Thanks, everyone. I think I'm on to something. 
I'm glad I hear that. That doesn't sound very definitive. Hmm. Complete again? What? Power potion, shield potion, and mind potion. This is an interesting way to approach this quest. Breaking it up into segments. And giving you AP for each little segment. Oh, I'm starting to get an idea. Oh, yeah, more to give me? Yes, I'm trying to give you all of them at once, but you won't let me. Wow, thank you. You've given me so much. Oh, no, don't worry about it. We just want you to do your best. You can thank us by being the yeast right out of Oscar. You know, thank you. Talking to you always cheers me up. If I only could use these ideas to cheer someone else up. Oh, I know. I'll make it flowery. Pleasing to the eye. The golden ratio of ingredients. The five-step aging process to bring out the savoriness. Eureka! I'll call it the golden rainbow. Now I can beat Oscar for sure. That name aside, it sounds pretty formidable. And tasty as well, but will it be completed by the end of our fuel exercises? Thank you, everyone. I don't mean just you, you know. I didn't know Imperials could be so nice. I had a bad impression of them since the annexation, but... I agree, they took whatever they wanted and left us to deal with the rest. Like pushing around the heroes of Crosswell. Ahem, that's enough for now. Thank you, please accept this as a sign of my gratitude. Mirror Bagel. A reflective one. Ah, oh, this slant is rather pleasant. The small one is making me hungry. I'll bake an even better bread next time, just you wait. Completely completed! Scent obtained. Plus two. Hmm. Hmm. These are the kids who were uh, who were rescued in the geofront that one time. Oh, hey, Yuna, it's Yuna. Long time no see. You're right. Hey, Yuna. How's it going, you big old tomboy? Hey, Henry. It's good to see you. As Ryu Ryu, maybe I need to reintroduce you to my fist. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. But you know, you really shouldn't friend the junior SSS with violence. The what now? Ah, oh, that's right, you did form that at the end of uh, Azure. The Junior SSS, we just patrol the city and stuff. Any info that passed out is top secret. Let me guess, they're actually doing this seriously and they're actually helping Lloyd somehow. I'm guessing this is their version of the special support section. Yeah, but it's not really something that they should talk about in public. I totally get why you guys look up to the SSS, but you should be careful to stay out of danger. <laughs> don't worry about us, we'll be fine. Besides, we can't leave the city to the military police. It's okay, we've been at this a while now. Are you guys Yuna's friends? Please be careful of all the horrible cars on the roads here. Hmm, let's skip Yuna's place for now and go to Raisins. I wonder if Ilya still lives around here. I can't believe Mrs. Novash. She remodeled her apartment. Do you know how long I've wanted to do that? She turns her nose up at us just because she's Erebonian. We will show her. She'll see how much better we crossbellons are. No, Vash. Who? The new family has moved in upstairs. My husband son wants something more than to one-up them. All these years and this is what he turned to. And th at this rate, his splurging habit is only going to get worse. Ideos, help me. So Ilya must not live... Ilya does not live here anymore? And also, wasn't there a passage back here? Hmm. A grass in the back. Used to lead somewhere. Hmm. We recently decided to remodel this apartment. I just couldn't stand how cheap it looked before. Oh, but now I think of it. Goodness, I should have bought the whole complex. Daddy manages an entire department store. Hey, he's a very important man. He's even had interviews with magazines and everything. Department store? Wait, the crossbow... One or not. I'll check later. So, uh, hello, hello. I'm the little raisins take uh, caretaker Sammy. This is a luxury apartment complex fit for celebrities and the like. It goes without saying, I hope, but don't stir up any trouble, please. Uh, isn't this place Ark and Seals? We shouldn't go digging without permission. Huh? Curses. Let me tell you, our sales here at times have more than doubled since I got to work on streamlining our process. 
Huh, behold the power of modern economic theory. Oh, oh, I'd like to thank all our tenants too. We couldn't have done it without them. Their only real issue is getting rid of you-know-who. Why would someone let a girl like her work in a place like this is beyond me. Yeah, this- so he's Novash's husband. Okay, that's strange. The brown-haired receptionist who has no name actually has a reaction to someone. Good day, welcome to the Times Department Store. Wait, huh? If I recognize your stupid ass, it's been a while, Ashen Chevalier. Uh, do you know this loud lady, young lady instructor? There's no way. Patiri? Wait, really? What coincidence? Considering Machias is here. What, just because you got all famous, you think you can forget the people who got you here? You better not forget his face again. It might be the last thing you see before you wake up in the hospital. What an interesting acquaintance. Yeah, a bit of a long story there. She's from Austin Heimdall, same as Machias. I just knew her as a delinquent, but now... I never imagined I'd run to you in Crossbell. And working at a department store, no less. You seem to have taken to it pretty well, too. How'd all this happen? That's not much of a story. I was sending out my resume, but I messed up on writing the address and ended up working here. What's new with you? These goons your new gang or something? If you start any shit, I'll throw your asses out of your hair myself. So that's why- so the manager did not want her around, huh? But sure, I certainly don't mind you taking some time to say hello to your friends. But I'd ask you to please watch your language in order to better respect other patrons. Oh yeah, I mean, yes ma'am. And don't forget to smile. Remember that when you are here, you are the face of the store. Awkward for a smile. Huh, glad to see she's doing well. Do forgive her, she's still in training. Here at times, we strive to be your partner through good times and bad. Please let me know if I can help you with anything. Welcome, may I show you around our store? I know what you're doing here, but if you're up to anything bad... Well, let's just say I'll catch you behind the door. Heh, <laughs> er... That's just Pateri being Pateri, don't let it get to you. Always talking big game, yep. Has she run to Machias yet? And also, why wasn't she named when I first approached her? Huh. Oh, uh, welcome. Wait, you know, is that you? Hello. It is you. I should have known from that million mirror smile. Now, if only you just calmed down a tad, then you'd certainly be a fine young woman. She, she sounded like my mom. Hey, let me have my fun. I've known you since you were a baby. Are these your friends from school? Welcome to Tally's. We're popular with the locals. Shop with us any time. Any friend of Yuna is certainly a welcome customer of, our, of ours. Residential area. Hmm, there are search range ends here. I wonder if Hayworths are still here. I think Ryu and Henry are leaving soon. Hey, they're my friends, so I want to say goodbye to them. Leaving for what? Hello there, Yuna. What brings you here? I thought you were in Arabonia. Do you have to do you have to come back after failing their entrance exam? No, I passed my exam, thank you very much. I'm just here for one of my our field exercises. Huh, <laughs> alright, alright. Don't forget to let little Momo know you're here. Absolutely. Momo's been hiding something recently. Do you know anything about it, Yuna? I only just came back, you know. Probably collaborating with Lloyd. Oh, that's right, my bad. You know how I worry about her though. The law office. This place is... What's wrong, Yuna? Oh, nothing. So does she know Grimwood as well? Mm. West Crossbell Highway. At least the police academy. We don't need to go there. Wait. Cecile's parents live here too. Okay. I've done all I could out elsewhere, right? So these are the apartments you grew up in. Yep, good old Belheim apartments. My family lives on the second floor. Down the stairs and all the way down the hall. Alright, let's go. There are floors, but I probably shouldn't go nosing around. Position? Whew, busy, busy, busy. Laura and I got married just last year, but it's hard with both of us working. 
We can barely even take care of the house between our us. I mean, if we did chores, then we definitely have no time to spend with each other. Man, what do, what do we do about this? Uh, two paths. The fourth floor is this way. No need to go up there. No, nope, we're being locked out. Wait, didn't... Wait, didn't, is this, isn't this for Cecile's parents? I, I forgot which room was which. This is your parents' place? Yeah, don't expect the mansion or anything. Well, here goes. Coming! Who is it? Oh! Yuna? Hi, Mom. <laughs> I stopped by to visit. Oh, my stars! It really is you, Yuna! But my word, you threw me for a bit of a loop there. I figured you'd be coming today, but I didn't expect you so early. Sorry, I didn't know when we'd have time to stop by. I'm so glad- I'm glad to see you're doing well. Hey, you too, dear. Seems like you've lost some weight since I last saw you. Listen to me ramble on. Welcome home, Yuna. Glad to be back. So she's Yuna's- I can see the resemblance. And she, yeah, she seems nice. Oh, and you're supposed to be her classmates. And... Was that Yuna? I heard Yuna! Yuna! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. These are... Ken Crawford. Nana Crawford. Hmm. Ken, Nana, come on! Don't jump on me like that! Yay! Yuna's back! Yuna! It's really Yuna! She's back! Sheesh, you two are so needy. It's good to see you both again. <laughs> welcome back! Yeah, welcome! These are... Yuna's younger siblings. Huh, they're twins. Well, don't just stand out there. Come on in. I'll brew a pot of my best tea and roll out some snacks for you all. It's nice to meet you. I'm Reed Schwarzer. I'm the homeroom instructor for Yuna's class, class 7. Oh my, so you're the... I see. Now I understand why she never wrote anything about you in her letters, no matter how much I asked. Ugh. Hey, well, I'm glad I was able to meet you like this. Kurt, Altina, I hope Yuna's not making too much trouble for you two. Oh no, not at all. Honestly, I could probably cause more trouble for her. Oh, but I do help her with her notes sometimes. Hey, Ali! I'm glad I was able to meet your family. Since we're here for field exercises, we can't stay too long, unfortunately. Uh, if only you could stay until my husband got back. He works in Michelin, so he's always coming, uh, late coming home. Oh, the place with a theme park, correct? Does he work in the park? He works in the playing department for one of the resort hotels. I guess I should have figured I wouldn't be able to see him today. You might be able to get permission to come visit on the last day. It'll be up to the chief instructor, Michael, but I can ask him about it for you. Ah. <laughs> Please do. Oh, you. T, he, he, she can get like this at times, but don't mind her. Hey, we were wondering. Which one is your boyfriend? Eh? Hey? It's the black-haired one, right? But, but I think it's Mr. Pretty. Uh... Mr. Pretty? Shove you two, it's neither of them. He... Run away! Jeez. Mr. Pretty. Certainly is lively here. He... This is what it's like every day around here. Th th this is a family. After taking a short break at the Crawford residence, Class 7 resumed their special operations missions. If you'll excuse us. Thank you for the hospitality. The tea and snacks were excellent. Oh, I'm so glad you liked them. Drop by any time, okay? Good luck of everything, Yuna. Yeah, got it. What, you're leaving already? It's boring. Oh, next time you're back, tell us more stories about that one guy. Hey, come on now, Ken. That one guy. You guys don't know him? He's from the Empire just like you. He's strong and super cool. Yeah, he saved us that one time. Ken, Nana. Huh? 
I'll tell you another story next time I'm back. I'll even have some souvenirs, so just be good until then, okay? For reals? I'm so excited. Huh? Wait, what a nice family. Yes, they were very warm and welcoming. I wanted to hug those two little siblings. I believe the word for them is lovable. Ali, thanks everyone. So what do we do now? Well, let's head outside first. I'm going to guess that as soon as I go outside there will be an event since I complete the other side quests. Hello? Hello, is this Serene? My name is Addison. I'm the receptionist for the RF building. Oh, could be? Yes, the boss just arrived at the office. I was asked to pass along the following message. When it's convenient for you, let's meet at the entrance on the first floor. Understood, thanks for the call. Of course, we'll be waiting for you. Instructor, was that? Yeah, I think we can get to work on the Epstein Foundation's request. We finished our, our request, so I'll let you decide when we should leave. Understood. I wonder what the Epstein Foundation's new chief is like. We should head over as soon as we're done. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.